developing now, a woman run over by a car, and deputies say it was intentional. And we are now learning the person behind the wheel is in custody. Local 10's Roy Ramos joins us live from that scene with some brand new video just coming in. I know you've been on this story all day. Roy, fill us in. Christy and Janice, well, we must warn our viewers, the video they are about to see is graphic, and for that reason, we have blurred a portion of it for you. But it captures this incident between who residents tell us were two friends. Oh, my God, let me move my car. It's too early for all of this. <gasps> Cell phone video now at the center of an investigation with the Broward Sheriff's Office capturing the moment a woman first seen on the hood of a car falls to the ground, the vehicle hitting the victim, causing her to spin, and the driver is then seen turning around and running her over again before she drives off. I saw the, oh, the victim shit. on the ground, head full of blood. <sighs> Nobody treats some people worse than other some people. Nobody treats some people worse than other some people, man. Golly, man. I couldn't see a glider doing that. I couldn't see a glider. Uh, I've seen that dumb shit. Gliders to a, a son shit. person? You seen the glider do no, that? No, to people? another glider. Like a husband, girlfriend, fight, whatever. He wants to leave with the car. She's not fucking out of it, so she gets on the hood. And the same thing happens. Yeah, but does he turn does around he and then drive over her? No, yeah, that's, that's bonus points. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I, that's, I, was, I, think the same, I was thinking the exact same thing. I don't think he, I don't think he would run over the other person. Again, yeah, that's some extra love. And Sliding is, off the hood and you know getting spun around and and, and hitting the pavement's one thing. It's a different thing to come back and drive over them. We saw that up in what uh, New York area where the person ran and ran the person down through the yards. Mm. Yeah, this is this is a rough one, and to think that you did this on camera. It's just like, I mean, some people are not afraid of prison, man. They're not. Did they know the camera was there, though? What? Resident Sherry Linder rushed out of her home. I mean, it is kind of like broad daylight. Let's just say there is no cameras around. There's always street cameras. They All these cities are putting up um, cameras everywhere. If you're on a street, you can just... If you're on a street, presume that there's a camera there. Some kind of camera. Even if it's not a security camera, there's some kind of... License plate readers, some kind of fucking speeding, speeding camera, some some shit, surveillance. Home after hearing the impact to see the victim severely injured. There was a shoe, there was a belt or whatever, and a pool of blood. Sheriff deputy said the hit and run was intentional, and witnesses tell me at the hands of her childhood friend. Tina Gore said it all started when her daughter and the suspect began arguing over who busted out the windows to her black SUV overnight when the argument escalated to violence Friday morning. It's not that she hit her. She came again to ran my daughter head over also. The suspect taking off from the scene, but Broward Sheriff deputies able to find her car. How do you. That just happened to your daughter, like. You ain't at the hospital, you ain't somewhere. Like teeth chattering, wondering what's going to happen to your daughter. Just people strong, man. That's the strong black woman is some real shit, man. It's not that like she hit her; she came again to ran my daughter head over. Also, the suspect taking off from the scene, but Broward Sheriff deputies able to find her car parked outside of her home and arrest her just a block away. I'm going crazy right now. I'm just trying to hold it up for the sake of my two other kids right now. The victim, 20-year-old Antonisha Gore, and her mother tells us she was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. While she is hopeful her daughter will pull through, she says she knows who's responsible and wants her held accountable for her actions. I want her to do the max because she tried to kill my daughter. So we have been in close contact with the Broward Sheriff's Office to get the name of this suspect and find out what charges she will be facing. As soon as we gather those details, we will be sure to let you know. As for the victim, unfortunately, at last check, she was still in critical condition. For now, near Fort Lauderdale, Roy Raymond. Antonisha. Yeah, man. Antonisha, yeah. Yeah, man, that's a decent, that's not a bad, that's not even a real bad one. Antoine, Antonisha.
had a baby, man. You feel me? Um. Mm. Oh, there's the woman. We got the woman. Um, here's the woman. We did it, man. And now on to Tallahassee. That's where state legislators are once again addressing the issue of robocalls for people here in the state. They passed a bill two years ago that added some protection to cut down on the headaches. But a new bill being considered right now has changes that could actually out the windows to her black SUV over hold it up for the sake of my two out the windows to her black SUV overnight parked outside of her home and around it all started when her daughter and the suspect began arguing over who busted out the windows to her black SUV overnight when the argument escalated to violence Friday morning it's not that she hit her she came again to rent my daughter head over also the suspect taking off from the scene but Broward Sheriff Deputy is able to find her car parked outside of her home and arrest 22 I mean, what is she? What was she thinking? Did she think that like nothing's gonna happen to her? It'll be fine. Try to stay in care. Yeah, it's, just, it's, like, it's like fuck, fuck it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. No more thought at all. Just I'm gonna do this because I'm mad. Right. Yeah. About the consequences, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do this because I want to do it. Yeah, man. Give me another shit, man. We gotta get out of there. Get out of fucking Miami, man. Um. I just don't see any fear of the cops, man. All this fear. How's Detroit to... doing? Detroit. Detroit. I mean, I'm sure it's not a fucking paradise, but. Well, Detroit is, is a paradise. You didn't know that, man? Come on, man. Detroit is a paradise. It's God's country, man. Um, no, Detroit see. is a pair of dice. You're rolling the dice every time you go there. <laughs> 